Um, welcome to a new vlog if it's your first time here hello my name is millicent and on this channel i do all things motherhood lifestyle and everything else in between and nowadays we're putting in a dash of our careers so i do hope you enjoy and you subscribe by the end of this video please do not skip the ads and do not be shy to give me a super thanks um today is payday is the 25th of the month and girl got paid a girl got paid so that means we are going to do our cash stuffing so the reason i didn't cash stuff in september it's because it was messy and I was, I was not doing well and as you guys know and if you don't know you're about to know now i had the car accident in september um i was not in a good space mentally and that also changed our finances a lot because i had to start using the heart train and child if you see someone using a heart train respect them other thing is ex expensive is not even a word for heart train it's ridiculous so Oh my god. And I think it's legal to drive with barefoot, barefooted? I don't know. Anyway, so using the hot train was expensive, so we threw off the monies. And now I do my budget a month in advance. So as much as the accident was on the 15th of September, and I was getting paid on the 25th. Like, what the Me data because also Telcom is messing with my life. You guys, yo, do you like it? But Telcom is basically messing with my life. I cancelled a contract with them, but they don't wanna Telcom is giving the boyfriend that says you can't dump me because kinna go feeling vibe. But with Telcom being said, with how to being said, with cash stuffing being said, let's go home and when we get home, we are gonna cash stuff because hubby is supposed to mm, this looks weird. Happy is supposed to withdraw money for me at his workplace and then I'm going to get home and stuff today and then we'll buy groceries and do everything else tomorrow. I'm not sure if I have to, I want to change my nails um, now or maybe wait a little bit and change them. The thing with nails is you don't change them now. They are fine. In three days, they look like they've been here for 10 months. But this weekend, I can't book an appointment because... My sister's doing housewarming, but you'll see that on a separate vlog. The next one after this one. Or is it going to be the next one? No, I think the next one is going to be things I learned since I came back to working. You're going to see the vlog very soon. That's all I'm saying. My sister's having a housewarming. So, kuningi and ngingani and one, But it's all good and well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Guys, I got lashes done. I know I make like weird facial expressions i'm really sorry if you find them disturbing baby but that is the only way to deal with my anxiety people assume that because i'm a social butterfly i don't get anxiety baby <laughs> you be shocked you be shocked so i got eyelashes they are so nice um i think the set that i got is called a hybrid not me losing my glasses where are my glasses how are you gonna drive my sister Guys, I had my glasses when I entered the car, but now I can't find them. And I cannot attempt driving home without my glasses. Ooh, child. And I don't think I have an extra piece. Bolina. I feel like I'm panicking for nothing. Yes, I am panicking for nothing. Found them. Okay. Now we can see the road. I was saying I got these lashes. I think they're called hybrid set. They are 12 and a 14. I love them so much. I keep forgetting I rub my eyes. But you know what? They are well and good. Would I get lashes again? 
I want to say I would, but my eyes get very irritated. I forget and then I start thinking at them. But anyway, I've said a mouthful. Let's go home. The time is 5 o'clock and I want to get home by quarter to 6. So let's go. We have made some new, I don't know if they're called labels, but I designed these using Canva. I think I shared this on a different vlog. Um, so I made these and then I went to get them printed on a hard paper at my local print shop. And I think, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of them, I think for 80 rands. I'm not sure about this or what I'll be using going forward. So I'm just gonna put them in my in my guys. What are these called? Are these envelopes? I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna put them in here and then we're gonna start stuffing our binder for the month of this is my October salary binding or cash stuffing rather for the month of November. This is our cash. This should be 7,000 rands. I need to cash stuff more than 7,000 rands, but because of the type of account that I use, my barking, my ATM withdrawal limit is very low. So I need to upgrade my account to show that I'm now a working girl. So let's um, cash stuff this. You guys know I'm new to cash stuffing, so I don't really know how to position my phone and what's or not, but I'm gonna share with you as much as i can and i might not speak through it and you guys know i'm a girl myth <laughs> so i might just get some of the numbers wrong as i count but you know what we are learning i'm gonna use my this was a ferrero she contained i'm gonna use it while i wait to find a cash organizer she in doesn't have one uh, Amazon has one, but I can't just order that, so I need to find other things on Amazon to order, and then I can use it, but for now, this will suffice, I'll just put my money here, because anyway, it's just 100 rands, and I think, yeah, 250s, so I'm just going to put my money in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and stuff. Um, I'm going to, I already know what I... Sorry, I already know how much I'm stuffing with, but I'm just going to update it on this sheet because I don't know what to do with these sheets. My big budget, comprehensive budget, is on an Excel spreadsheet and because it, it shows most of my bills, I'm not comfortable um, sharing it on the internet because it shows my family's collective income, it shows how much you pay for the car, our rent and all that. And I'm not comfortable sharing that. So I'm only sharing amounts that keep spending cash, you know. And please bear in mind that we are a dual income household. And my partner has, my partner and I actually have fully functional businesses that generate some kind of income. Not consistent, but it does generate money. So some months we have more, some months we have less. But I'm cash stuffing my way. Um, I'm cash stuffing my way out of my credit card debt. But right now the primary goal is to just get the hang of spending cash my biggest money challenge is that i'm good with banking money away like saving money i'm great but when it comes to managing the money on a day-to-day -day, i'm not great and that is what i want to work on as a growing adult so i can teach my kids the same kind of behavior and improve their relationship with money so we are going to do like a debt journey next year. I'll be sharing with you guys how much my credit card is at that time and how I plan on paying it off. And an update. I know I spoke about Telcom a little bit in the car. I closed that date with Telcom, uh, but I still have problems with them. So I just need to, you know, um, sort a few things with them, but I don't pay monthly anymore. However, Hubby has a Telcom contract that he still pays. But it's all good and well so this is a very chatty um barrack in cash stuffing do i really need to rewrite this like no i don't have to yo yeah so certain things on the list i'm not going to stuff today i will stuff them whenever i am able to withdraw the cash so yeah let's get to it let's get to it let's get to it so the first thing we're going to do is stuff 
week one so we've kind of already spent part of our grocery budget last week because like i said we ran out of groceries so quickly it was crazy so i'm gonna stuff a thousand in one in week one and i'm gonna stuff a thousand in week two so guys you know i'm not good with counting money eh? so so also i don't know if it's just me but i think since i started using cash i feel like i have more money than when i was using my card so i'm gonna need a thousand from here one how am i gonna count this yo okay i'm just gonna pull out an amount and then if it's more we'll put it back so i'm gonna do one two three i've never seen that never noticed this <laughs> sorry one two three four five six seven So it's a thousand bucks that's going towards week one for our groceries um so we've done so my hubby and i have done this we've separated our grocery budget into three parts so it's groceries um it's My partner and I have divided our grocery budget into three sections. So it's groceries, it's toiletries, and then there's meat. So this is just for food. Week one and week two is just for food. And then meat gets its own budget and then toiletries gets its own budget. So we've done 1K for here. Let's we'll do another. Do I want to do another K for the groceries? You know what? Let's come back to groceries. Let's come back to groceries. Uh, my petrol i've explained this before i only pull one full tank for my car when i get paid and the rest of the money is hubby's responsibility so i'm just gonna put i had budgeted for this month for my petrol i had said 1.2 because it's quite empty right now one, one point two for the petrol it's not gonna it doesn't last long this one point two let me tell you but it's okay it's okay because it's not my responsibility <laughs> this is one of my favorite things about having a steady partner i don't have to worry about other things and thank god for placing my partner with the ability to provide for our family and then we have cosmetics so in here kelly records diapers our shower gels and if you guys know i do if you've watched my previous vlogs from last year i'm gonna link one in the description box i do stockpile so i don't buy everything every month so we only gonna be spending a thousand on toiletries yo new thousand please call me my thousand <laughs> one two three four One thing about 100 rand, you're gonna feel like you have money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, um, I also wanna update you guys. Me, I wanna update you guys. So, I have decided to create a planner for myself. So, that planner includes, um, like my monthly goals. So, right now, I use my, uh, sorry, let me show you. Right now, I use my I use my diary every other day to like fill it out with what I'm I'm trying to find a page without showing what I've written, things that I'm grateful for, wara wara, and I've decided to design a planner that's just gonna show all that, and then a grocery list and a cash stuffing, uh, backing page. I don't necessarily like this. I'm a detailed person, and I feel like this doesn't allow me to put in detail. So I've, decided, I've designed my own and I'm going to print them and I print shop and use them when I do my videos and when I do my mon my monthly planning. You want something? I want you. <laughs> I want you. I'm filming. You want to want you. <laughs> the look has this thing of saying I want to want juice. So that's why he says I want to want you. 
Yeah. Okay, cosmetics are done. And then, okay. Spending money, so this is my pocket money. And I usually give myself 500 for my spending money. So I might, we'll come back to this one because it's not a priority. So right now I'm gonna stuff what is I need to do immediately. And then grooming, these are my nails. This is this, my nails, my hair, my pedicure, this is an essential. This is as essential as petrol in my life. So we are definitely gonna stuff it. How much did I give it this month? We are gonna be stuffing 800 for the girl. Um, okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred. So we are gonna stuff 800 for me, which is enough because i found the found the salon that's cheap so 800 is gonna be enough and i'm gonna be refilling my my nails i'm not gonna do a complete new set i'm gonna refill this and also my pedicure i'm not sure if they can refill a pedicure we're gonna get a fresh one mm, or oh, i can choose not to have a pity but my hair needs treatment and i might not pleat my hair and then um, takeouts. This is not an essential, but however, in my home, this is an essential. Like tonight, we had KFC, so I need to take out that money from here. So I think I'm only gonna stuff. Oh, let me just. I need to buy a calculator. Okay, I need to remind. This is a reminder, and you guys have to remind me in the comments to say, Millicent, buy yourself a calculator, because right now I don't have a calculator. So I'm going to put 200s in here because it was supposed to be 500, but we already spent some of the money. So um, we don't eat takeouts every day, but we eat takeouts like very often. And usually because Hubby is the one that loves them the most, he buys from his own money that is not part of my budget. <laughs> and then clothing. I have a lot of Levi's as you guys can see. Let me show you. These are the slips that I have. These are the Levi's that I have. So I need to pay this one. Yeah, pay for it for sure. This one I need to take it out. And then this one now. So I need to pay some of my Levi's. And I think to pay a minimum for all the Levi's I have, I should stuff a thousand and one in here. So let's see if we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hundred, eight, nine, ten, a thousand, a thousand one. I need a thousand one sixty, but I don't have, um, but again, I don't have ten rand, so I'm just gonna put a fifty. So I should pack a ten rand, but it's fine. I will figure it out. I will figure it out. Sorry, transmit. Cash stuffing is not as easy as I think. Like, this part is the easiest part of cash stuffing. But spending per thingy, per envelope, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Okay, I feel like I have stuffed everything. I feel like I've stuffed everything, but I still have some money. So let's um, go back to the ones that I said were not a priority. So we've done week one. So we're going to do groceries week two. I'm gonna give it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna give week two. Also, I'm gonna give it a thousand. Like I said, remember that. Oh, petrol. Sorry. Remember that my cash, my groceries does not include meat because meat has a separate budget. I buy my meat at OBC, and for a family of five. That doesn't last us a month. So who's missing? I think it's only my spending money that's missing. Cosmetics has money. Spending is the one that is missing some. Sorry, that's missing some cash. So I'm just going to put all the remaining money in my spending, my pocket money. So I also think it's a good, it's a good thing that my bank didn't allow me to draw all my money because not all my debit orders have ran and as much as i've done a budget and i know that everything is accounted for i just want my debit orders to run first and then i can 
do everything else but i also didn't want to not stuff and go by because i feel like when i do it like when i do it in reverse where i spend and come and stop the change it, it's giving not disciplined One, two, three, four, five. my spending cash is only 500 so i honestly do not need the extra 150 in my spending money so i can maybe put it i don't know where i can put the extra it probably has a home so we're not gonna spend it as yet we're not gonna allocate it anywhere as yet i will just put it here at the back because i have this extra one that i will use and in here i just put my 20 rands and my 10 rands should i take a 10 rands from here and put it in clothes no mm -mm. let me just put this 150 at the back and then as and when there's a need i will put it I'll use it, you know, money. Or maybe this means I didn't count my money properly for everything. But yeah, this is all the money. I really, really love my new um, labels. So obsessed with them. And yeah, I want to update you guys, but I want to look you guys in the eyes. So let me close this binder, put things back where they sit, and then we're going to have a quick chat. Um, it's Thursday. The time now is 10 minutes to 10 o'clock in the morning. And as you guys saw, I started with the laundry because later go into the clinic with Auntie. So I thought, let me kickstart the whole laundry thing. But I'm wearing this very cute outfit and I'm about to head out to buy some groceries. So we're going to check us um, and then we're going to clicks. Yeah, I think. Oh, and then OBC to get the meat. So I'm going to be using an Uber because my Kwanda came back last week friday right from the report place and she looked good but then over the weekend the more we inspected her we realized there were missing elements very tiny cosmetic things but we needed them to be fixed because we we're paying for that service so happy to get to the repair place but he checked her and see if they were done so it took them like 45 minutes to get those cosmetic things done so i'm not sure if i should wait for him to get home and then i take the car I'm not patient enough for that though so i'm just gonna leave i think i'm just gonna leave but before i leave i want to just put some of the laundry outside and then i thought i'd put a second load but i don't know if it's safe to leave my machine alone but also how does the machine know that it's home alone would my machine know that it's alone it wouldn't know because how does it know that i'm here now i don't know what could do wrong but right now i'm gonna take the laundry that's in the machine put it outside hang it outside and then we are gonna go to the mall. I feel so cute, guys. The last day draw I feel like I wake up and I'm already looking very snazzy, and I'm tempted to say I'm gonna do them again, but mm -mm, don't forget, don't forget, Uba. We are in Nwaya Iliso, and then. Because I have ruined it here. You can't see, but I've ruined my lashes here. Because I'm always poking at them. So they've went down. Kubi, kubi, kubi. But it's my own doing. So I can't even blame anyone at this point. Every time I hear a car, I think it's my Kwande. Because I low-key want her to arrive before I go to the mall. Because I want to go to multiple places. And I want to... Bestir. Is it to Bestir? I think it's to Bestir. Anyway... Let's, let's bounce. I, okay. I'm carrying my baggie. I'm carrying my baggie and I took only what I need. I took these bind, that these envelopes and then, yeah. 
I really pray and hope that God gives me the wisdom of King Solomon to only use the allocated funds and not to use my card. Unfortunately, I have to take my card with me because I still need to make other withdrawals. So, I'm praying that I'm disciplined because if I'm not disciplined, I'm going to suffer this month. Again, and I know that God did not dis... dis yeah? I... <clears throat> If I'm not disciplined, I'm going to suffer. And I know that that's not what God intends for my life. Suffering is kind. It's not, not my portion. Not possible. So let's go. Well, I was patient enough to wait for the can to come back. So now I need to load this plastic. It's a um, donation pile. It's a donation pile. Anyway. So this is a donation pile it's full of um, baby clothes that I'm willing to let go of. Very cute baby shoes. They're still in good condition, but I don't need. It. I don't want to keep them. I don't remember Ori. Petroli. Yakuloye ki nine three or nine five. I had to call because I never bought petrol, and now that I am today, I'm just like, oh my god. Oh my god. Soft life kissan. And you know what the gag is? I'm not even done shopping. There's still meat that needs to be bought, but I will not buy it. I am too tired for that. I am back from the mall. And before I do a grocery haul, I just want to introduce you guys to my new plant. Her name is Miriam. I got Miriam from Checkers. I got her last week. I got her for 30 rands, but her original price was 170. So this is Miriam. Um, she is a delicious monster she's gonna grow very big and she was very neglected there by the shop so i'm gonna get her a new pot she's outgrowing this one because okay let me sh let me try to show you madam is grown so you see madam's roots are already is this a root no this is not a root what's this Okay, I can't see what that is. Uh, but Miriam's roots already coming out here, showing up here. So I want to get her a bigger pot where she can, you know, loosen up and thrive. I'm going to go to Builders. I don't know when. So for now, I'm putting her in the kitchen, um, on the kitchen counter because that's the only space she has for now until I get her a bigger pot and then I can put her in the living area so let's do my groceries to check us and click so i got my fresh produce this time from check us mainly because i was already tired i was already tired so there was no way i was gonna go woolworths and also my budget is very small so there's no need to go around shops when you're buying so little hour i fell in love with this when i was pregnant with Galileo and it hasn't gone away. I never used to drink it. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So I got this. Should I turn? Mm -hmm. I got this um, fresh pack watermelon tea. Never had it before, but you know, spoils for the girl. Famous. And then I got this two. They were on sale. I think one was going for 34 rands or 35. So I got two of them. They are not going to last in my house. I am giving them today and tomorrow. <clears throat> What's this? Oh, 
spice for rice i love a colored rice because during the week honestly there's no time to be doing salads but once i add color my mind feels like you know what and that's all i hear about if you know you know in my house snacks are a must so i got these snacks these are mainly for school and work they were on sale two for 23 rands and i think one is 15 rands i was gonna buy them irrespective of the sale because okay, these snacks they were going for 35 rands and the normal price is 16. so i was like this is a bargain of course i'm buying them and then i got juice for for Coco. i got different ones for the record at um at cakes and also people were complimenting the fact that i well two people the, oh, the cashiers actually were complimenting the fact that i i am using like i'm stuffing my money but like you're so conscious of your budget and i was like girl you, you got to be cautious otherwise what you going to eat what you going to eat i got my faves these are always good for lazy nails i need to go into the fridge right now and then i got one fry pack from um, i got all oh, this from check us in here. i got one by pack I also need to go to the fridge right now and then I've got a pack of apples, apple uh butter and apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm, okay. Have more shrubs I prefer doing the whole and packing simultaneously and like putting everything here and then having to pack afterwards. I don't know, but it's not it's not I was looking for this to sleep. I was looking for this to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, got some cheese. We don't like buying cheese in the house because my people don't finish it. So if I let I use an Evalie mold. And then I got some spice. I didn't buy my vegetable spice because the girl was going to throw me off. So I'll get her some other time. And then I've got some chocolates for the hub. He loves them so much. And I've gone back to Cremora because he generally loves Cremora. He doesn't like the other Cremoras. So I was just like, you know what? Since we're and then I got this instant porridge instead of the future life one. Future life is 52 rand. This is 28. So I got this because the record doesn't eat, so I'm hoping it can be like her breakfast. And then I got some tin fish, got two. I got them in hot, so when we can eat them, the kids will have, I don't know, mush. And then we have noodles, one pack, the record's lunch. The record likes a uh, working. Like your macaroni, your spaghetti, I don't know what the group is called. That group of food, that's what she likes. So that's what we, I'm going to try to cook her. And then I got some spinach. I'm going to cook her today. But I think the dumb thing I did was not buy the cream of mushroom soup. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it. But it's fine. And then I got this one. You guys know for a nut, I buy this. I can't, I don't have the patience to chop. Carrot. And then I bought... And then, oh, for Mutepa, you know, some mornings you wake up and all you want to give me a favor. It's a different discussion. Oh, I think I want to learn how to cook putu today. Or should I do that? Yeah, tomorrow won't be here. Today. Mara, the rest of the Logana put you here again, guys. Besides, in commas, can I eat it with like beef? Because I feel like it would slap if I ate it with beef. Please, if you are Zulu or yeah, if you yeah, yeah, put I think is for the name is yeah, it's for Zulu. I think I think other people may eat it, but I think it's primarily for Zulu people. The way Sam we all eat it, but it's primarily for Kosas, you know what I mean. So, if you grew up in a home where you guys had put religiously, please let me know. 
what do you eat to put with besides in commerce i don't want to have more i've got tested i mean i switch between testic and speckle uh i'm doing the cheapest one wins the race because it's not make it and also the amount of woolies bags i have shameful my dear shameful it's not i should donate but I feel like I'd rather give them to my siblings than donate them to the um, to other people. So I'm gonna pack this away, and then when I come back, we are gonna do the clicks. There's the other clicks product. Then we're gonna do the clicks one. So let me pack away these, and then we'll talk in literally a second. I get so excited, even if it's like, guess what? It's awesome. I love finishing shampoo. <laughs> it's like, it's an accomplishment. It's the, the feeling of an accomplishment. Yeah. I love it. So, it's, it's the. They're ones that we refill. So, it's Galata. And then we'll change it. It's like, it's a one at a time. Very much. So the request to pass a tomato. I did Take it these ones, get a little and then that doctor's give the usual ones. So she will have the thing with home property tax. I don't necessarily have a uh a saving challenge. Five for fifty then what's the other one? There's another one that be five. And then these were on sale, I think, for eight children. Did we do? Which brand of sanitary pads do you guys use besides? Always oh, ultra with you. It doesn't stick. Which other brand? I tried the list. I tried the bamboo ones. I love them, but they're expensive, so I can't keep buying them. I am watching a cash stuffing video. If you haven't noticed or heard, I just bought one pack of wipes because we still have two. And I decided to. I decided to try the. Poshia M Marula Skin Face Wash. I used the African extract, but I just thought, why not try this one? So I'm gonna try this one. I don't know how it's gonna treat my skin, but my skin is not problematic. So honestly, I think I'm just buying this product for skincare. Oh, okay. the bad. And then I got. Three of the sunlight um, baby bath bath soaps and then I got this and I think that's um of course I got Nikki. Let me give you guys an update on potty training. I gave up. Auntie tried to continue, but I think they also gave up. Lirego will tell you she wants to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, sit there, not do anything. Come back and pee on the carpet. Or, when she has a nappy on, she will say, I want to pee. You take her to the potty, she will pee. But as soon as you put on your panty, she will pee on herself. And I think for me, the most disgusting, disgusting thing was her pooping on herself. Because now you have to wash. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm not ready for that. So I'm just opted to put her on. 
I'm just opting to put her on pants for now, and then in December, then I will be serious about breastfeeding her. She'll be two years and how many months? Two years and two months. So if that also doesn't work, it's fine. She's going to school next year. They will assist me in potty training her because she'll spend most of the time at school. Personally, potty training her has been. Little girl was easier. I put trained her in three days. It was much easier, but kids are not the same. Uh, they don't develop with the same. They don't have the same personalities or characters. So it's all good and well. She's still a baby. She's still two. So I think I still have a, like a long or like killing. I have a, I still have a good window to put you train her before her third birthday because there is no way she'll be wearing diapers when she's three. I refuse. Yeah, so I think I'm done unboxing everything that I got for today. I did get some flowers from Checkers. I think they put like six stems in there, like they're not serious. But it's fine, I'm just gonna you know, spruce them up and then set them up just to have them in the house smelling really good. And you know, you know I love my flowers. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, do not be shy to leave me a super thanks and I'll see you guys on my next upload. For now, ciao, ciao.